Can George beat Minecraft? Let's find out. Hello everybody, I'm Kylie Kean, and today we answer a very important question. Can George Pig beat Minecraft? Not only beat Minecraft, but can he speedrun Minecraft? Uh, something tells me by the start here that this is gonna be harder than George expected. But either way, it should be a good time. And of course, this is an animation by Sequence. Definitely go check out Sequence's channel. We've uh, reacted to a lot of his animations and they are incredible. But let's uh, let's watch this and embrace it and enjoy it together. I think George just uh, got pushed off of a mountain, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Can I go back here just real quick? Yeah, he, oh, he met some polar bears, that's cute. Um, and then that dude just blasted him with some ice. Um, you good, George? He's good. He's fine. The polar bears are his friends. Okay, they don't get along. Turns out... I Okay, I love that. I don't know if you guys know that little tune. Is that the Wii? That's Wii Sports from way back when Wii, Nintendo Wii, was a thing. And then just some random dude took all of George's stuff. Not cool. George found here. This must be George's house. <laughs> Why is he wearing sunglasses? He's just a... He's just a cool dude. Hey, that's pretty sweet. Got yourself a diamond helmet. That, that's not bad. I'm sorry, is that a golden cow? I Is that a real thing in Minecraft? Because if it is, I've never seen it before. You can feed a golden cow an apple and get a golden apple and also get attacked by a swarm of bees. <laughs> that donkey was just rude. My, my guy just got attacked by bees and you're just laughing at him. <laughs> If any animal's gonna laugh at you, a donkey laughing at you is pretty good. Uh, yeah, just eat that chicken, you'll be fine. Don't do it. You saw that. Look at Lily. He gets smashed by the horse. Also, the frogs are laughing at him now, too. Um, he held that sword for a little too long, right? Then <laughs> he switches to the golden apple. You guys are gonna be best friends. I promise. Yeah. That's an upsettingly strange looking Steve. Hanging out with ostrich. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, he's he is wandering the countryside. He's free roaming now. What happened to those sheep? Yeah, put that one out of its misery. What is going on with these sheep? That one, <laughs> the one on the left has a wool problem. Also has the weird ears. The one on the right, his eyes are are perfect. Actually, they're perfect. Let's continue this adventure after seeing our good sheep friends. Hanging out with the trader. You found a village. I love this music. I love the Mario music. It's so good. And then just getting a random duel with a golem. Fair enough. Yeah, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Dude, George is George is doing a great job. He's he's kind of like not thinking about anybody else around him, but he is surviving. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Okay, he found himself like a ruin, right? Those are like, I don't even know what those are called. They're like nether ruins, I think. Just random pieces of the nether spilling into the real world. Looks like George got some good stuff. Oh, that's the ticket. I don't even know what it is. It's a gold sword, which typically aren't that great, but it's shiny. So it's enchanted. With what? No one knows. Oh my gosh. Okay, George is going on an absolute tirade. What is that? What is that? That's it's a dog bush. <laughs> I don't know what this creature is, but it's it's pretty cute. I like it. I want one. Give it a carrot. Claim it as your own. Now you ride your steed, George. <laughs> Your mighty steed. That is the mightiest of steeds. Okay, not cool. He just killed it. All right, George is doing a great job of holding his own. I don't know what he's doing against these the the Tuscan Raiders. I like to think of these guys as like the you know Tuscan Raiders from Star Wars. Uh, uh. That's that's these guys. I had to do the noise. I had to do it. He just built a, a crafting table on top of a camel, which is kind of boss, honestly, and built himself a saddle for the camel. That's incredible. George, you're insane, actually. I'm starting to think that George is, is seriously going to uh, do this. Hold on. Um, something was kind of sus in that last scene. One of these things is not like the other. Let me know if you spot it. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, we found ourselves a sand village. George, you're doing a great job. You're killing it, dude. You're petting the cats, and that is definitely one of the most important things you need to do on your journey. You left your camel unattended. Left the key in your camel. Going to get stolen. 
Hey, that guy's having a bad day. Okay, off into the into the ocean we go. There's a lot of turtles around here doing turtle stuff, which I guess is just laying on the beach. Okay. <laughs> The, the angry whispering to himself. <laughs> you know George was saying some unspeakable things right there. Couldn't make it out, but we know. You've ever stubbed your toe, you might say some regrettable things. And that dude just took a trident to the face. Just minding his own business. He's just boating along. Gets knocked with a trident. Hello. You guys are in for a bad day. Look, you need to stop throwing tridents at George. He, he does not like... Tridents being thrown at his face. Found an underwater cave. Okay. Yes. Oh, baby. Now we're talking. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I'm sorry. I, I spoke over him. Sorry, George. Yes. Diamond. Yes, diamond. And it fell directly into the lava. You got to plug up that lava before you start mining, my guy. Oh. Is that Peppa? <laughs> what, what, what was that thing? That was a true abomination. I never want to see that creature again. Okay. Um, not great, but I do appreciate the Zelda music for like half a second. Got a nice little train going on here. Shh. Don't tell anybody I'm here. <laughs> I love... The skeleton? Dude, he's a bro. He's a dude bro. He's just like, yeah, I won't tell anybody. You can stay here, George. It's cool. What a dude bro. All right, this is turning out to be quite the adventure. I, I love this. I love this for George. I love this for me, and I love this for all you guys. This is a great experience. Take a little nap next to our, next to our best friend. <laughs> I mean, something really satisfying about seeing that panned out shot of all the mobs just getting absolutely roasted because the sun pops up. You think about it, the mobs are are at the will of the player you know they're hanging out outside minding their own business they don't know when the player is going to sleep and then suddenly they're on fire it's kind of a hard life no wonder they're so angry i love this though Th this is a great little montage of george just like enjoying his life with his dog his dog can he bring dogs back to life in minecraft listen i know it wasn't very long. And for all I know, maybe they were together for like 30 minutes. They did all of those things that we previously watched. All these things. I just want you guys to know that that dog became a very important part of George's life. And, and by, by extension, yours and mine. And something terrible happened. This is the beginning of a Pixar movie. They're just hanging out. I love that the dog is just like chilling. And there, there's, there's, there's a pain because I know what's going to happen. And I hate it. I hate that so much. Why are you back? I do not. This guy is is the, the, the greatest villain. He is the ultimate villain. I don't think I've ever felt more rage toward a villain than I feel right now towards this abomination of a pig. Whatever you are. You, you know. Just no. Get him, George. George. Okay, this is. Yes. Yes! Blast him! Ugh! Take him down. Take him down. No, he's drinking a potion. I don't even know what that potion was. He's glowing. I hate this. No, George. George, you better take him down, George. I mean, that was insane. That was that was like a Jedi battle of Minecraft. <laughs> they were like flipping over each other. I don't even care about all these guys. Get him out of here. Oh, this is incredible. Holy moly. George, you're insane, dude. He's dodging. He's flipping. He is chopping. He is continuing to chop. He's using a shovel. Throw the shovel. To be continued? For serious? Oh, I was so into that. That was so good. What was that trident? It came out of nowhere. So someone saved him. Wait a second. Wait, wait. The, the arch nemesis, the villain? Because George threw the trident at the most evil of all evils. And then and then he's holding the tr trident. But he threw it. He threw it. But maybe he went back and... 
Did he just save George? I, I don't care if he saved George. He is still the deepest of all villains that I've ever had in my heart. What he did to that dog is unforgivable. Don't worry. We still have some more animations and Mario just got hit with a Yoshi egg, which I kind of love. <laughs> let's let's -a go, Mario. Oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> you ever consider, I mean, Yoshi eats everything with his tongue. He does, he does have to, uh, face some pretty, pretty terrifying objects. You're in a cave of, of rubber duckies. That was Peppa Pig. Sus. I like that the one, there was, there was one spider. <laughs> Stop! That spider? I don't know about you guys, but I feel like he's pretty sus. I don't know what it is. He's just giving me sus vibes. Anyways, um, <laughs> is that, that is the clown from, uh, Peppa Pig. And, um, but, but he's a, a, a Mario boss or something. It's weird and I love it. It's a lot of carrots. Mario is not used to dealing with that amount of carrots. That's a, that's just a straight up dinosaur trying to eat Mario. The, the puffer fish, get out of there. <laughs> Ooh, real scary. <laughs> yeah, take that. I love that music. Oh my gosh, that's an angry star. Yeah, you made it to the, the, the star world, Mario. Good for you. And tripped off of a cliff. Did you, Wait a second. Hold up. Who's the true boss of this terrifying world that Mario has found himself inside of? Peppar. Okay. I see that little silhouette. You're wearing a crown. Looks like a shape that I've seen before. Run, Mario. Run for your life. Hey, Stinky. <laughs> You good? You good? You good. You're gonna eat a mushroom. This is the Mario of Peppa Pig's world. And the, the dude is jacked. He is so strong. It's a potato. You gotta get him. You gotta get him. Yep. Just take down the whole castle. That I mean, that is definitely one way to take care of things for sure. Mario, very efficient. I love sequences animations. They are so good. You're doing a great job, Mario. D don't use the door. Who needs doors? Just smash through the wall, of course. Yep, there you go. To the forest. What is Yoshi doing, my guy? No problem. It wasn't creepy at all. There's supposed to be like four of those rhinos shooting fireballs at you, but I guess that's that's uh, the, the slight adjustment in the Mario world. <laughs> it's just so fast. It just everything happens so quickly. He just did a backflip off of a pipe. He's on the last level. There's sus spiders. There's skeleton peppas. And there, there's the princess. And there is the boss. Truly, I don't think a more beautiful story has ever been told before.